Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The MRW magazine recently dedicated over a hundred pages to Khloe Kardashian, complete with an in-depth interview and a massive photo shoot. One might ask. Why her? What did she create? What did she accomplish? Well, we've been asking this question for like 20 years, and the answer remains the same. Nothing. She's a celebrity because the media said so. Therefore, she's going to be used for occult elite crap. On the cover of TMRW, Chloe has one breast exposed. And it is hidden by an apple. It's all very symbolic, occult, and even satanic. During their initiation, aspiring Freemasons expose one breast and one leg. As seen in previous videos, numerous outfits worn by celebrities refer to this practice as a nod to the occult elite. Chloe's dress reveals one breast and one leg for this reason. Chloe and a serpent bite an apple. This is a clear reference to Lucifer offering the proverbial apple to Eve in the Garden of Eden. In this pic, Chloe bites the apple with great enthusiasm, implying that she and her coven of witches are on Lucifer's side. This pic explains why the apple, combined with the Masonic references, is all a nod to the occult elite and its Luciferian beliefs. In this pic, Chloe is symbolically blinded and silenced using accessories. Her eyes are replaced by the all-seeing eyes of the occult elite. In another pic, Chloe performs a clear, unmistakable one-eye sign. The message is. She's a tool of the occult elite. Judging by the comments on Instagram, people are fully aware of that message. And they hate it. But these celebs keep doing it because they have to. Meanwhile, Chloe's half-sister, Tilly Jenner, was featured in a symbolic photo shoot with Interview Magazine. When they're not undergoing massive reconstructive surgeries, members of the Kardashian Coven are hard at work propagating the cult elite madness. In the photo shoot, Killy is assaulted by a giant disgusting bug. Forced contact with creatures that cause repulsion is a monarch mind control technique to torture and traumatize MK slaves. Here, Killy is in a ditch, stuck inside a capsule-type contraption. Tilly's father, Bruce Jenner, was also stuck in a capsule in the highly symbolic 2013 Kardashian Christmas card, shot by Dave LaChapelle. Next to him is a mannequin wearing his Olympic gold medals. Shortly after, Bruce Jenner became a woman. In the same Christmas card, Killy and Kendall Jenner pose in front of a literal Illuminati pyramid. At the bottom of the pyramid is the iconic Wheaties box that featured their father Bruce Jenner. Back to the interview magazine photo shoot, Killy gets up close and personal with a snake. That family really likes snakes, because of what they represent. To confirm that everything seen before is pure occult elite trash, Killy makes an unmistakable one-eye sign. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Speaking of the one-eye sign, it appeared everywhere in the past weeks. Here are a few examples. To promote new Adidas shoes named Predator, Real Madrid football player, Jude Bellingham, hides one eye with a shoe. Can someone please remind him how to wear shoes? He seems to have forgotten. In the past years, Daniel Kaluuya starred in huge movies such as Black Panther. Therefore, he had to show submission to his elite rulers. The result is. A clear one-eye sign on the cover of High Snobiety, with a face that says. Yeah, it's my turn to do this BS, because I still want to work in Hollywood. This is magician David Blaine's IG profile pic. It's a super clear one-eye sign. 
The message is, you know the message. But there's more to this. To promote his show, Impossible, David Blaine makes a clear one-eye sign. Nearly all of the comments called out the Illuminati symbolism. Another comment referred to Blaine being close to Epstein. He's not wrong. Records show that David Blaine attended at least three dinners with Epstein. The one I sign means being part of that sick system. To promote his new album Insano, 30-foot-tall statues of Kid Cutie were placed in several location cities, including Paris and Los Angeles. The sinister statue, complete with glowing eyes, looks demonic. Other artists such as Doha Cat used a similar promotional gimmick. It is the elite's underhanded way of placing demonic idols in public view. This is a page 6 headline about people hating these statues. The headline states that Kid Cutie sold his soul. Boy did he ever. In the past years, despite not being gay, Kid Cutie appeared in public wearing dresses. Not just regular dresses, but super humiliating dresses. In this pic, Cutie actually looks like he just got abused by some industry execs. Speaking of humiliating industry stooges. Benny Blanco, a producer who is also Selena Gomez's boyfriend, wore this old lady outfit at GQ's Men of the Year party. Yes, Men of the Year. Is this another humiliation ritual? Yup. Are you as excited as I am about Paris Haute Couture Fashion Week? Well, that means that you're not excited at all. Here are some pics anyway. The star of the show was a creepy robot baby held by a model. Some observers noticed that it was oddly similar to another creepy robot baby used in a fashion context. Frank Ocean walked around with a green robot baby at the 2021 Met Gala, a K of the annual parade of industry slaves. Why do these people use babies as fashion accessories? Maybe my comments would be out of line if guests at Paris Fashion Week didn't look like literal movie villains. Yeah, that's the type of weirdo that would cheer for a robot baby. Speaking of the weirdo tendencies of the fashion world, do you remember when Balenciaga ran a campaign featuring children that contained all kinds of imagery such as and teddy bears? Kim K doesn't care because she's now the brand's ambassador. Pray for her children. Cosmopolitan is a quarterly fashion and entertainment magazine for women. It contains celebrity news, fashion trends, and relationship advice. Also, satanic... Cosmopolitan magazine posted on social media a series of pics that do not only promote a but satanic abductions hosted by the satanic temple. The pic contains a one-eye sign because, when all is said and done, this is all about the occult elite's obsession with sacrifices. The inverted cross on this pic symbolically tells us that these abductions are ritual sacrifices dedicated to Satan. Call me old-fashioned, but that's a pretty insane concept to be promoted by a mainstream magazine. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.